Just a stone throw from the congested Luanda street stands a dilapidated concrete building, a remnant of Angola's colonial past. The arena became a concert venue hosting some of the biggest names in Central African music. But as lengthy and brutal civil war consumed the country, it slowly fell into decay and started to draw refugees looking for shelter rather than entertainment. Então, com vista a dar maior aproveitamento do espaço in order to make good use of the space, it was transformed into a cultural site. Here, after independence took place, some of the major music shows in the country, national and international artists came here, like Pope Kale and Kassav. On a thrust of city life, the arena has become abandoned for decades and repeated government promises to renovate the venue have yet to bear fruit. There's a cultural patronage organization that should be implemented. It's not reality yet, but the talks are on the right track. This is more or less the funding we get here. There are also companies that sometimes sponsor a cultural project through private funds. Francisco and other soldiers like him who sought refuge in the building after the civil war would see their homes raised to make room for a huge parking lot if the current renovation plans were to get underway. We were refugees and didn't have all the solutions, so they said we can come and settle, but after 20 years we have to be moved. We don't have a problem with that. Up to the mid-2070s, Luanda residents crowded the stadium's 20,000 seats to watch bullfight or torados, a violent pastime pitting man against an animal that was introduced to the southern African country by its Portuguese colonizers. <laughs> 